Hare Krishna, the cryptic message of the crypto crash. Less than 10 days ago, um, news broke out that the world's second largest crypto exchange, FTX, went bankrupt and lost over a billion dollars of customer funds. Allegations include um, stealing of customer funds and diverting it to expensive uh, venture capital investments, donation to political campaigns, and giving loans to its own top executives. Basically, FTX engaged in a Ponzi money laundering scheme. People are distraught, so many people are angry, um, so many people, including FTX's own employees, kept their life savings, who had kept their life savings in FTX, lost all their money. And this has sent shockwaves around the financial world. Many, many people who had placed faith in cryptocurrency have lost faith in it. And there's so many questions up there right now. Interestingly, uh, the director of engineering of FTX, who was um, one of the top executives, gave in, um, who himself irresponsibly took out a loan of $543 million of customer funds for his personal use, gave an interview in December 2020 st stating how crypto exchanges are actually meant to act more responsibly because they not only just exchange, they don't just do the traditional exchange, but they also, but they also hold people's funds. They, they are custodians of customer funds. And he takes out loans like this. How could someone who, who is, um, you know, speaking about responsibility do such a horrific activity. And the CEO of, of FTX, Sam Bankman Freed, took out a billion dollars of, of, of sorry, a million dollars of customer funds. And in an interview with, with New York Times, says that he's, he isn't losing sleep over it. He's still playing video games. He feels sorry for what he, sorry, for what, what he had done. But he isn't losing any sleep over it. So people are shocked. I mean, this guy claimed that he was earning all this money and he was a successful um, millionaire along with his uh, other top executives. They were running the second largest crypto exchange firm because they wanted to earn money to give in charity. They wanted to help the world. They wanted to, they wanted to help alleviate the suffering of this world. How could somebody who claimed to have such noble motivations engage in cheating of, of this level to the extent that millions of people have lost their money. There's so much anger and shock out there. Many people are wishing for um, Sam and his, and his buddies to get their karmic retribution and go to jail. Um, so many people have lost um, faith in crypto. And are, but they're also equally disgusted with traditional money. They don't have faith in traditional money. They thought crypto was, a, was an alternative. Now they doubt even that. Is there a solution? And there are others out there who have lost faith in philanthropy altogether. They feel that um, there is no actual thing as charity. All charities are fake and have hidden agendas. So where do we go with this? How did crypto get, get its value? Crypto was primarily um, got its value because it was deregulated. That uh, it's not controlled by any government, etc. So people thought this is a good thing. So a lot of people give crypto its value based on the fact that it's deregulated and then crypto has value. But actually, crypto doesn't have any intrinsic value. And that's one of the problems of the issue because the value is something that is agreed upon. And the moment that consensus is lost, crypto loses its value. That's what's happened. Um, not only did FTX crash, um, a lot of the top cryptocurrencies have lost thousands and thousands of dollars in, values right, in value right now. Whether that will come back up or not is, is, is a topic of another discussion. 
But the point is, God, crea God created things. Not things that are created by, um, in, in nature. And especially those that are required for our own survival. Such as grains, vegetables, fruits, water. These things carry intrinsic value. Even spiritual people give these things value. Because these things actually matter in life. That whatever civilization, whatever part of the world one may go, in, grains have value. Vegetables have value. They may not make one tremendously rich, but they do carry value. On the other hand, things that are imagined, such as crypto, where people are giving value to a certain commodity, but it's not exactly required for human survival, such the value of, of things like that is not, is not as stable. Is not as stable because they're not pegged to one's survival. Or they may be pegged in a superficial sense. Now, there are problems with traditional money. And because of that, people lose faith in them. People have lost faith in traditional money. So deregulation seems to be the solution. But the problem is it opens the door to thieves, as we have seen in the case of FTX. Um, they just stole a bunch of money because they acted like banks, but they don't have any regulation. But then the regulation that the governments bring also is, is filled with problems. Um, people know that when they give money to a bank, it's not necessary. They, the, the, the bank says that the money belongs to them, but the bank is also legally allowed to loan out a portion of their money. And and then, of course, you know, the governments just print money in thin air. And if you have $100,000 sitting in your bank account today, 10 years from now, that $100,000 is worth less than it, than it was worth um, 10 years previously. And this is the problem with traditional money. It just constantly keeps losing its value. So, but then if you, if you have an irregulated environment, you have thieves like FTX. Um, the, the, the guys who, who ran FTX. And even if what Sam and his friends claimed they did, they, that they did all these things, they, gave, they loaned out or they took out customer funds because they wanted to help the world and they were donating for noble causes, blah, blah, blah. Even if that was true, he made huge miscalculations and gambled the faith of his customers, and lost it all because it was a gamble. Now, why did people place faith in, in, in this guy? Because it seemed like he was an impossibility that was real. That here's a millionaire, Sam Bankman fried is a millionaire who, is, who has, who, who, who's just wearing a simple t-shirt, doesn't, uh, uh, drives around a Toyota Corolla, and people bought into this image. They bought into this image. But the point is, without understanding what real morality is, without understanding the basis of real morality, people want to believe that there can be a moral and charitable rich person without any selfish motivations. They actually think that this is possible. What is the problem with this? Anyone who does not endeavor to understand who the controller and creator of this universe is, what are the laws of material nature? What is the basis of morality? What is the basis of what is right and wrong? And one who does not have a conception that they are not this body, who does not have the right conception that they are not this body, but actually believe that they are this body, their laws of morality or their understanding of morality and their actions of morality so-called morality, will remain superficial because they are based upon the temporary nature of this material body. And anything pertaining to this temporary material body is ultimately selfish because it is not our real self. Our real self, we are not these bodies, we are spirit souls. But anyone who doesn't understand this has a bodily concept of life and and and. And because of that, so these people may come up with different schemes to help the world. But all their schemes are based on the body, which is temporary. It's based on matter, which is temporary. They think that 
throwing money at material problems, at different problems in this world, is going to solve all the problems in this world. Have we not seen that? Have we not seen the United Nations allocate billions of dollars for different things? Have we not seen all the time, every time there is a problem in this world, all the big people, the think tanks come together and throw money at it? Has this solved the problems in this world? Have the problems in this world decreased with the increased uh, you know, number of charities in this world? There's, there's probably more non-profits and charities in the world today than there ever has been in the history of, of the world. Does that mean we have fewer problems? Not really. See, people want karmic retribution for Sam and his friends, but they don't really want to understand what karma is. They just think karma is what goes around, comes around. But they fail to understand that just as much as Sam, will, will, as Sam and his friends will suffer the karmic retributions of their actions, they fail to understand that they themselves are also bound by the same laws of karma. And that if we, if we lead a life where we think that there's no real controller, that the universe originated from a big bang, that everything just came from a big bang and everything is happening uh, you know, by chance, then we will continue to believe in these kind of temporary solutions in the hope that they will give us a free world without any control where somehow everybody is morally upright. Such, such a conception is completely illusory because it is not based on reality because anybody who has a bodily concept of life hasn't even taken the endeavor to understand who they really are. Such people because they consider themselves to be the body, they can never fail to, to see the differences that exist in this world. And when they see the differences that exist in this world, they try to artificially lump it all by saying it's all matter, we're all just made of matter, we're all just chemicals, we're, we all just, um, we're all just a bunch of chemicals. So if it's just a bunch of chemicals, then why is there any value to human life? Why is, for instance, um, you know, all these billions of dollars that were lost, this money that was lost, it wasn't even chemicals, it's just some, some code, some digits on the screen. Or if, if a person, or, 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 if, or, or, if, or if a human being is killed, why, why, why is that considered a criminal activity? Because we're not all just made of chemicals. Because this hedonistic concept of life where somebody, where people can think that we can be good to each other. We don't need to have God or any, any kind of like conception of a supreme person or, or a controller in this world. We can, we can figure this all out ourselves. But you can't. You cannot. Because... There's the inescapable laws of karma that there, is, that there is the cause of the differences in this world. That somebody is born poor, somebody is born rich, somebody is born with disabilities and others are not. There are poor countries and rich countries. These differences exist because of karma. And this karma is the reason why we have obtained these material bodies. Reincarnation is a fact. We are spirit souls transmigrating from one bodily form to another in the hope of satisfying our heart's desire for happiness through matter. But as long as we fail to understand that we cannot, that, that we cannot obtain happiness through matter because we are spirit souls, we will continue to endeavor for material things which are limited because that's the nature of matter. It's not unlimited. It is limited. And there will always be a tussle over the resources of this material world which will lead to power struggles, struggles for money, wealth, I mean sex, and, 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 and ityadi, things like this, etc. But those who understand that they're not this body, they're spirit soul, and who understand that they're parts and parcels of Krishna, they automatically become relieved of this greed to
to enjoy material happiness. You see, one of the reasons why people, especially young people, like to invest in crypto is because they think they can make money quickly. All this form of crypto exchange or stock markets and etc., etc., this is all a form of sophisticated gambling where you don't do any work, you speculate, you put some money in it, you hope a lot, of mon a lot of people are going to give value, so you throw in a little value over there, and you think you're gonna make a lot of money off of it. If we could all make money just through luck, if we all could become rich just by being lucky, this world would have been, f the, the, the millionaires of this world would have all become millionaires through lottery. This is not the case. It's just a big illusion. And, and people buy into this illusion because of a wrong conception of life. Now they may lose faith in crypto, they'll go and place their faith in something else because they, didn't, they, never, they never tried to understand the root cause of all their problems. The Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 5, text eight, uh, chapter 18, text 12, says, Yasyasti bhaktir bhagavat yakinchana sarvair gunais tatra samasate suraha harava bhaktasya kuto mahad guna manorate nasati dhavato bahihi That people, devotees who are engaged in the, in the transcendental devotional service to the Supreme Personality of Godhead Krishna are endowed with all the transcendental good qualities of the demigods. But, however, one who has a bodily concept of life, who is devoid of devotion to, to, to Lord Krishna, to Sri Hari, the source of everything, they, even though they may seem like they're morally upright, they're actually devoid of all good qualities because they, mis they, they, they run on the misconception that joy, happiness, and peace can be derived from material pleasures such as money, sex, power, etc. From, from, from material sense gratification. Nothing can be further than the truth. That. And they may come up with different moral schemes. Some may support regulation, some may support deregulation, blah, blah, blah. You know, and they come up with different um, governmental schemes, com communism, social, socialism, democracy, you know, and, 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 and different, different schemes to control the selfish tendency of this world, but they, don't, they never try to attack the root cause of selfishness that actually exists. That the bodily concept of life, having the bodily concept of life, is the root cause of all our problems. This is the root cause of all our problems. And this human form of life is a rare opportunity for us. In the... In the in the cycle of birth and death, among the various species of life forms that we could have all taken birth in, we have somehow obtained this human form of life. And this human form of life is an opportunity. It is a gateway. It is, it, it is the best tool to, to utilize in the process of self-realization. This human form of life is meant for self-realization. And through the process of self-realization, we can solve all our problems in this world. That process of self-realization means understanding that we are a spirit soul. We're not these bodies. We're part and parcels of Krishna. We have forgotten our eternal loving relationship with Him. And by re-establishing that loving relationship, which is described in these amazing texts, the ancient scriptures, such as the Bhagavad Gita and the Srimad Bhagavatam, the Vedic the Vedic knowledge that is available in these texts, we can, actually ta we can actually understand that we are spiritual beings that are eternal. We don't die when the body dies. We are not affected by the changes of this world, but we are affected only because we are attached to this body. We are eternal. We are full of knowledge and we are full of bliss. And we have that opportunity and, and this is the science of Krishna consciousness. What I'm speaking right here and is, is not something new. It's not a new invention. This practice of Krishna consciousness has been continuing from time immemorial. It is a time-tested process that has been followed by great saintly spiritual masters. 
such as the author of, of the books that we promote, Shrila, His Divine Grace, Srila Prabhupada, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami, Srila Prabhupada. So, this is the real way to, to reduce cheating. This is the real way to solve the problems of this world, whether that be global warming, whether that is hunger, famine, um, you know, poverty. These can be solved by us becoming Krishna conscious and by spreading this and by helping others understand the science of, of Krishna consciousness. This is the sure way to real peace, happiness and prosperity. You can learn more about how you can become Krishna conscious and help others by doing so by visiting our website, thekrishnalife.com and by listening to the videos that we have on our YouTube channel, The Krishna Life Media. Thank you very much. I hope this talk was of some use. Hare Krishna.